Where in modern life can we be accepted by others in all of our facets? The beautiful and the ugly, the comfortable and the uncomfortable. How do we open that Pandora's box and dance with it? My name is Evangeline and I am a Bhutto artist. Bhutto is an art form that was born in Japan in the 1950s. Now it is a global art form. For me, Bhutto is the dance of darkness, the dance of the subconscious. I think that body and mind and spirit are completely connected. When we access the body through repetition, there is a part of the mind that surrenders and we begin to access emotions. There is no homo erectus anymore. Bhutto training is really, really, really challenging. To be pushed to the limit to that extent and encouraged to have an encounter with the self is not an easy endeavor. But it's a particularly acute challenge for people who are incarcerated. I started my work in correctional facilities with Bhutto in 2006. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. The classes at Edgecombe are very powerful. They're also a process. And in the correctional facilities, it's a very volatile environment. My agenda is to start from a blank slate. It's not my place to judge them. It's my place to provide a space of uh, self acceptance for them, a place for rehabilitation. Once they connect to the sense of empowerment, that's a very important concept for people who are incarcerated, self-knowledge, self-power. How can I be in control of my, of my body that is essentially being controlled by the state? The ones that keep coming back and repeat and believe in the repetition and, and start on a path of commitment achieve great results. It's a dance from the guts, it's a dance from the soul, it's magic. En el antiguo pueblo costero inglés de Margate hay una misteriosa caverna subterránea adornada con millones de conchas marinas. Sus pasajes sinuosos se extienden por más de 20 metros y se cree que fueron construidos a principios de 1800. Pero nadie sabe quién los construyó ni por qué. <risa> 